I'm Peter Sesselman, and um, today we are looking at the Rock and Stomp. So this is the new version, and as you can see, it has two sound modules in it. Uh, in this um, demonstration, we use the bass and the snare module, but you can also get it with the bass and the tock, or even with double bass. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute as to why you would want to use that. So. As you can see, it's uh, very beautiful, <laughs> and um, it has a built-in mixer, so the two sound modules plug into the main housing unit. There's a little volume control for each one, and a jack plug for a single line out. If you want to um, have more control over the sound and add reverb and EQ and stuff like that ind individually, you simply unplug this patch cables and run the cable directly from each sound module into your um, PA or recording module or whatever you're using. So, but the main thing with this is the rocking action. That when you're playing it, it rocks up and down. And that alleviates a lot of stress and strain on the muscles, particularly at the front of the leg. Um, you're doing, you know, several hours uh, at a gig with a stomp box, your leg can get really, really tired. But that, that rocking action goes a long way to alleviate that um, strain. Now, I was saying before that you could, you could get a module which has got two bass modules in it. So why would you want to do that? Well, because basically you're cutting your, your uh, stomping in half. If, you, if you're not relying on the snare sound, you just want that nice uh, bass rhythm underneath you're basically halving the amount of stomps you have to do because you're doing that heel and toe action. So you're sharing the load between the front of your leg and the back of your leg, which gives you um, much more energy and, and um, playability for long gigs. Um, so if you, if you don't like the rocking action for whatever reason, um, I suppose it's a personal taste thing, but uh, I find it really easy to use with the rocking action. Uh, then this rocking bar underneath can simply be removed by taking out those two Phillips head screws. And then you basically got a normal uh, mega stomp. So um, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, uh, you can contact me on my website and I'll, um, I answer all emails. Um, that's pretty much it. Cheers. Got my website, um, peterman.com.au and um, I'll catch you there. Cheers.